Welcome to video number 8 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. I'd like to uh, show you my stator arm in this video. Before I do that though, I'd like to show an experiment of magnet power. Okay, I've moved the uh, camera to another angle now. And you can see I have my uh, world globe map positioned on the table and the orienteering compass is placed on top of that and you'll also notice that the uh, north and south on the compass are pretty well aligned with the north and south on the map okay now I'm going to take the compass away and I'm going to place a bowl of water on top of the map. I'm probably wondering why I'm going to do that. It has something to do with uh, what I was talking about in the previous uh, video and that was uh, the way that mariners used uh, a piece of magnetic material on a, um, on a floating piece of uh, wood or cork that they would place in a bowl and um, they would use this as a, a compass point. A very simple device, you can do this too. Now you can see what I've done here. I've taken a block of wood and marked north and south on it with uh, pointing arrows. And I have the uh, north facing magnet uh, aligned with the north pointer. And um, on the back side I've placed a couple of extra magnets and a uh, ordinary washer and I've put those there for ballast uh, because I don't want the block to tip over when I place it in the bowl. Hopefully uh, this isn't going to be too heavy and there will be enough water in the bowl so that the block isn't going to sink down and, and have the um, bottom magnet scrape the bottom of the bowl uh, which would prevent it from turning. Uh, when it ends up in the uh, if it does end up in the north oriented position it would look like this uh, because we'll be facing the uh, north mark down here on the map that I showed you with the compass. Uh, to see how that works let's place it in the bowl so the north is pointing away and uh, I hope this will work now. If it doesn't, uh, maybe we'll need a larger bowl. I'll place that in there. Yeah. Now you can see it's starting to turn. It's turning. Swinging around. Hmm. Well, it went a little bit too far, didn't it? But it'll come back just the momentum that uh, carried it past the north point. And there you go, see? It's facing north. It may continue to swing just a little bit back and forth uh, until it uh, gradually stops at the position where it is facing north. But um, you can see how that works. Works great. So that experiment should prove to you that the, that the north labeled face of this magnet is actually a south pole. Otherwise, it would not have oriented itself towards the north pole of the earth. Remember, like forces repel. Now here's a side view of my stator arm. Uh, you're looking at it from a side angle. And um, let me just zoom in a little bit here. And um, yeah, get a little closer to it. You can see that the uh, stator arm assembly 
is an uh, integral part of the framework. And uh, this is nothing more than a, a PVC T-fitting. Uh, it goes into a reducing bushing and uh, then a pipe which goes into a, a PVC elbow. Uh, these are one and a quarter inch fittings. And uh, the reducing bushing goes from one and a quarter down to a one inch pipe which is inserted in the elbow. Now the one inch pipe uh, fits loosely enough inside the elbow so that it can be adjusted uh, to get the amount of throw that we want out over the wheel. Uh, you can see that the stator arm would be adjustable in that uh, the T-fitting can be set at an angle. Right now uh, there is no angle. It's, it's uh, set on zero degrees so that means it's perfectly level with the uh, surface of the wheel. Uh, although it is canted down at an angle and I think you can see that uh, the angle is actually eight degrees which is the same as the slope of the wheel. Uh, back further, uh, just a second, while I have this angle, let me just show you, I'll put the pad of paper behind here and zoom in a little further. And you can see that uh, the only thing inside of this T is uh, two uh, stainless steel bolts and nuts. And uh, these are what are used to uh, connect the, the uh, stator block to the T. And the block is what is used as the mount for the uh, stator magnet, the hard drive magnet, which you can see uh, a little bit of it showing down at the underside of the block. This block is a piece of wood. Actually, it's... Uh, it's a piece of uh, material called tough wood and um, it's like a simulated wood uh, and it's used for construction purposes uh, and uh, it's guaranteed not to warp or rot, you know, for, I, I forget what it is now, probably 30 years. Uh, so it's like a waterproof material, it's uh, not that I plan to dump any water on this, but uh, it, it's just a, a good lasting product. And of course, non-magnetic. Now if I swing this stator arm out over the wheel, you can see that the elbow goes into a, another T, and uh, the T also has a, a piece below it. The piece below the T, uh, let me slide over here a little more. Okay, see that? This piece is, uh, is a PVC union fitting and it's normally used to join two pieces of uh, one and a quarter inch PVC pipe together. Uh, I'm using it right directly placed over the one inch PVC framework and uh, it can be raised or lowered to any position I want and then locked in place with uh, thumb screws that are on the other side. And uh, I set this up to uh, whatever height I want for the stator arm and it acts as a stop. You know, it won't let the stator arm go down any further. Uh, it's kind of a safety feature because I don't want the stator arm to drop onto the uh, wheel or, or the uh, rotor magnets. I think that's all about all the time we have in this video. Uh, but I just wanted to introduce the stator arm and uh, in the next video I'll be demonstrating how I can use the stator arm to uh, uh, provide motive force to the wheel. So thanks for watching Rick's Pipe Dream, and I'll be back again with more very shortly.